So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mayhul and welcome to your 13th Angular 6 tutorial in which we're going to discuss about a little problem we faced in the last tutorial and how to fix that. So let's get started. Alright, so if you followed my last tutorial, what we had was that we were fetching some data from one endpoint and displaying it on the screen. That data was JSON. But the problem was that uh, at first run, we had a problem that showed us some error related to course, which is cross origin resource sharing. So, what that means is that course is a standard uh, set of implementations which just determines how you can, um, how your JavaScript or your front end can access other servers' code, right? So, you cannot just send an ajax request to anywhere on the internet and get data back this is a security implementation by browsers so for development purposes what we need is that we need a smooth way of integration of our apis with the angular server so what happens is that angular runs on its own server and our api calls like um, checking for correct details of login and creating some records on database and all that stuff would happen on some other server for the development part at production obviously angular is just front end so you can just merge your api server with angular front end and you would be good to go but for development what we want is we need to proxy our requests from angular server to our remote server right so how do we do that well um, first of all what i'm going to do is change this from localhost 1234 to something like api and then file.php let's just say something like that now what we are going to do is just take a quick look here that uh, angular runs on port 4200 makes an api call direct to api server um, this is 1234 right now what happens is that after proxifying this connection we would make api call to slash api slash something and this would actually webpack would handle dev server would handle this and it would forward it would proxy this request to our remote server so behind the scenes what happens is that we are actually making the request to this server only but on the front end part so the browsers are happy we are actually making requests to the same domain so that's how it pretty much works so to actually set this up what we need to do is actually create inside our and actually i have already done that i guess package.json you can see that we need to set up this ng this start script to ng serve proxy config and your proxy config.json file now we need to create this proxy config.json file here. So I'm just gonna create it proxy config.js nope it should be proxy config.json just like that and now this would be a JSON object and let's just say I want my API endpoints to be proxified to say target is localhost one two three four and there are a bunch of properties you can search them on internet like for example it's not secure and then you have um there's also one change origin true and you can just set your log level as well and all that stuff <clears throat> so once you do that what we have now is inside terminal if i write npm start hit enter and you can see that my local server is actually um up so what we have here is that it runs from our proxy config file and it's just building the project for us now if we reload this we can see that we get a 404 on our 4200 call of api file.php now this is because whatever you write inside your proxy config right here right here 
this would be appended <clears throat> to your target URL. So as a quick fix, what we can do is inside text test directory, we can create a folder API in which we can place this file. Now what we have is if we reload this, we can see that we get our data. Now what ha what's happening here exactly is that we are requesting to localhost 4200 API file.php, which is the same domain. When the pack sees that uh, we have something like API and then something in front of it, it proxies this request to um, this target, which we have by appending API and whatever it, there was in front of it to this URL, it gets the response back and it sends back to us. So this is how pretty much we are gonna proxify some requests like these. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial, I guess. And uh, once we have our proxy set up, now we can create all our PHP files in here and just request them via this API endpoint and we should be good to go. So that's all for this one. And if you liked it, then uh, please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next video. And one more thing, if you like this video, then don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to receive instant notifications.